All right, in this clip, we're going to talk about how to determine what grade of gasoline is recommended or can be used in your vehicle. It's important to note that realistically, you can put any grade of gasoline you want in an engine, and it will run, and typically it will run okay. But there's a couple of things you can do as a consumer and watch out for uh, to know that you're using the right gasoline for your vehicle. So most people know this already, but at a pump, there's usually three different octane ratings available. Supreme, which is usually in 92, but depending on what area you're living in. Plus, which is 89, and regular, which is usually 87 octane. To explain real fast, an octane rating is actually a rating for how combustible or how volatile a fuel is. So at what point does the vehicle or does the fuel get squeezed to a point where it will ignite on its own without a spark? 92 is harder to ignite than 87. So that's kind of the difference. You squeeze 92 enough and it usually won't ignite on your own, but if you squeeze 87 enough, it will. And that's important in high compression engines or forced induction engines, engines with superchargers, engine with turbochargers, or muscle cars, high compression engines, usually gonna have to go with a 92. What you're avoiding by using these three grade ratings is what's called pre-detonation or pre-ignition or a ping. Ping sounds like a tin can full of rocks on hard acceleration or moving uphill. You're gonna hear essentially what sounds like a tin can full of rocks in your engine, and that's a ping. To avoid that, or if you start hearing that, you're gonna to wanna to bump up the octane that you're using. Now for most consumers, if you're confused or you want to know what your manufacturer recommends, if you open your fuel door, there should be a sticker on the inside of the fuel door that will tell you what grade of gasoline you should be using. But if you want to shave some bucks, not necessarily go with the highest stuff that's recommended, you can go down a grade or possibly two in gasoline. As long as you don't hear any sort of pinging or pre-detonation going on, you're usually fine. You may suffer a little performance, a very slight decrease in gas mileage, but for the most part, if you're gonna save five, six cents for a gallon of gasoline, you're usually better off going with a grade possibly too low, or you just wanna watch out for that pre-detonation.